What's up guys, John Stakeskeller here. Welcome back to yet another game dev tutorial. So this is going to be more of like a quick tip. And I'm going to show you how to solve the problem of jittery rigid bodies in Unity. Now if you've ever worked with rigid bodies in like a platformer or something, you'll notice that when objects move that have rigid bodies, sometimes they have like a jittery effect. Now this is to do with interpolation. I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. So just to jump over to my game Blood and Me to help illustrate the issue for you guys. So I've got this crate here. I might just get rid of this snake. So I've got this crate here with a rigid body component attached, and you'll notice that when I push this crate, if you look carefully, there's like an intermittent jitteriness going on. And it'll vary depending on what else is happening in the level sometimes. So if I select that crate now, go over to the inspect panel, you'll see the interpolate mode is set to none. And this is what's causing the jitteriness. So if I click that drop down, I've got two different settings, interpolate or extrapolate. These settings are to do with the physics time step for Unity um, and how it calculates its predictive movement of physical objects. Interpolate mode is more accurate, however, has a slightly higher performance hit. So it's not recommended on using on everything. You want to use it for the player primarily or any, any other objects that are visibly kind of um, having some kind of jittery effect. Now the extrapolate mode, from what I can see, it still causes jitteriness, but from what I understand, it's using a different version of prediction, using the velocity and acceleration in, in taking those things into account. So I don't know, but um, jitter the jitteriness is definitely solved for the most part using the interpolate mode. Click that, select interpolate, and we'll run that now. And hopefully that's noticeable. Uh, once again, I better get rid of this pesky. So once again, to push this thing, ha, huh, look at that. It's silky smooth at this point. And keep in mind, we're also running in, in the um, Unity preview, where if you actually build out a project, everything runs a lot better. So just jumping to a different scene to illustrate this issue more clearly. I have this wagon here. Now check this out. Whoa, look at that jitteriness. Bang and the cart like rolled over. Now check this out. If I select that cart, uh, the body, now if I go over to the rigid body settings, once again, it's set to none. So click interpolate, now watch this. Woo, silky smooth. And what else did you notice? The physics, actually behaved differently. In the first attempt, the cart kind of turned and landed on its head, where in the second one, it landed flat on its feet. Now that's the other point I want to make here. If you have it set to interpolate, then without fail, the physical object will move exactly the same every time. So if I jump back into this thing, the same forces are being applied to the object. Watch this. Two out of two, the landing was the same. And one more time for good measure, just to prove this point. Angs are like crushing these guys with a cart. <laughs> Perfect. See that? So every time the objects under the interpolate setting moved through the air the same way. However, when it was turned off, they moved more unpredictably. And if I ran that scene, with no interpolation settings turned on, every time I might have a variation in terms of how that cart would have landed. It's very, very interesting. So once again, interpolate mode for accuracy, use it on your player, use it on objects that are uh, visibly having issues with jitteriness, but not on everything. Because if you use it on everything, it might have serious performance implications for your game. So leave it off for non-critical rigid body objects. All right, guys. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, give it a big thumbs up down below for me. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And thanks to my Patreon supporters up here. You guys are very cool and I'm very grateful to have you guys. See you all in the next video. And as always, all the best on your game dev adventures.